Is today the day I become a normal member of society? Let's find out. Well, I'm going to take that as a negative test result, but unfortunately it doesn't just end there. I still have to produce a second negative test result this time tomorrow morning before I can rejoin society again. The problem is that negative or positive test results are going to be a little bit academic, or at least as far as cycling goes over the next couple of days. The weather may look quite nice today, but unfortunately we've got Storm Eunice forecast for the weekend and that means torrential rain and winds of around yeah, 120 kilometers an hour, that's 80 miles an hour, so obviously you're not going to be wanting to cycle in that, unless of course it's a tailwind. It is literally the calm before the storm out there at the moment. So I'm just gonna pop out to the garage and do a final 10K on the turbo trainer while I still can. Yes, I've got a rather fancy pain cave with a projector. As you can see, I'm doing Zwift a little flat loop around the Macari Islands. 12 kilometers, should take me about half an hour. Well, that's the uh, loop of the Macari Islands. Supposedly flat, but um, even the little two, three percent gradients on there is enough to just break my rhythm. So yeah, glad I've done it. Hopefully get out on the road soon. Crazy out there. Yeah. Friday morning and that's my second negative test so I can re-enter society again although that's not really today's headline. That is the weather. Um, at the moment it's not too bad. It's a little bit wet and windy out there but it's set to get much much worse with the Met Office issuing weather warnings saying that there's an actual threat to life and if that needs any further proof Di's not gone to school today. It's the first time her school's been closed because of wind. Uh, so she's here today, keeping me company. I just thought I'd come out and meet Storm Eunice in person. Always amazes me the names they give storms. Eunice sounds like some sweet little old lady that's going to invite you in for tea and cake but um, the way this storm's going it's like you know once you're in there she's gonna lock the door and you find out she's some geriatric serial killer it's very strange because there's not a lot of rain but the wind is fairly strong I don't think we've reached the full peak of the storm yet that's gonna come that's about three o'clock this afternoon in a couple of hours. Just thought I'd come out and do my first road ride in about 10 days. Obviously, after getting over COVID, the key is not to push it too hard. So I'm just doing a little 12K ride on my Blendworth route, mainly to see really what damage Storm Eunice has done.
I have to admit that I was expecting a lot, lot worse from Eunice. She came around three o'clock as forecast, and yep, okay, it was uh, very strong winds and very tempestuous, but it wasn't quite as bad as I was imagining. Um, I think we got away quite lightly where I live, but I do understand that other people in other parts of the UK didn't get off quite so lightly. The thing with storms, be they metaphorical ones like Covid or literal ones like Eunice, the way I see it is that you have two choices. You can either lay around and let it kick the shit out of you, or you can stand up to it and say, bring it on. Goodness knows, we've all had our fair share of storms to deal with over the last couple of years. So whatever storm you're going through, I hope you manage to stand up to it and kick its ass. If you'd like to see some more videos to help you get the most out of your cycling, then please click on the one coming up here. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.